Okay. 5.2. Adding and subtracting like <laughs> fractions. We start with our word problem today. One, day, one night, 77 over 100. 77 100 of the moon's visibility showed. The next night, an additional 9 100 showed. That looks weird because it's like blown together. What uh, fraction of visibility showed the second night? How would I figure out what fraction of visibility showed the second night, Kaden? Add 77 and 9. Yeah, add seven, se 77 one hundredths, right? Sorry, I always write my fractions this way. That's fine. Plus 9 one hundredths. What's 77 plus 9? 86. 86 one hundredths. Now, what do you think I need to do with that? Divide by 2 on each. Sorry. Um, what's that called? Uh, simplifying it. Yeah, let's reduce it. Reduce it, okay? Um, you said divide by two. Does anything bigger go in? Four. There? No, three. Uh, guys, guys. No, no, three. Stop. Stop. Really Shout. Really oh, yeah. uh, three doesn't go into a hundred. Eight? Wait, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. I, I was just asking because I'm not sure. Is it four? It's not four. So it has to be three. It has to be two. So if I divide 86 by two, what do you get? Um, we get 42. Good, Kaden, 43. And if I divide 100 by 2, you get 50. So 43 50ths is my answer. Always, always, always reduce. So we're just, if it says to add, Simplify. then. Simplify always. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Ooh, I have a question. What? On A, the, the negative is by the 4. So that's negative, right? It's only the four that's negative, right? The whole fraction is negative. Oh. Okay, so if I have negative four sevenths minus two sevenths, what do I have, Caitlin? Negative four sevenths minus two sevenths. Ooh. I said Caitlin. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I, I raised my hand. hand. I don't even need your hand up. I said Caitlin. Put it down. <laughs> negative four sevenths minus two sevenths. What do you have to do, Caitlin? Can you combine those, first of all? Yeah, because they have the same denominator. Okay, up top, what do I have? And negative 2. What's negative 4 and negative 2 together? Yeah, so I have negative 6, 7. Oh, because the negative... The oh, negative, it turns into adding. Because it's negative it 4, it. technically... Plus, Plus negative, negative two. two. That that minus sign oh. goes with that fraction. Oh. So you have a negative plus a negative. Okay, that makes nice. sense. They're not going to show it to you that way in the book. They're going to show it like that. You've got to be able okay. to recognize that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Carter, what happens when I have one-tenth minus negative three-tenths? I said Carter. Everybody else get I a have chance a question. today. Wait, Matthew. Just like mm -hmm. one tenth minus negative three tenths. What happens? Yeah, what do I do here? <laughs> when you have a negative, flip. yeah, flip, flip. So what's one tenth <laughs> plus three tenths? Uh, Good. And can four tenths be reduced? Yes. yes. So what? Two two, two, two pits. Good. Matthew. <laughs> It's gonna be every, It's gonna be everybody else's turn besides you and Sonia today. Just know that. So relax. It's okay. It's we need other. Fair. No, it is fair. It's, it's not should, fair when you dominate. It's not fair, it's not fair when you dominate. Okay. Hannah. Five and five ninths. Five and five ninths plus two and seven ninths. First of all, can I combine those? Yes. 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 I said Hannah. Oh. Five and five ninths and two and seven ninths. What happens when I combine those? What do you do first? Um, would you make it into a improper fraction? Well, you could, or... You could just add five and two. Yeah, add five and two seven. first. You get seven. And what's five and seven up here added together? Twelve. So you get seven and twelve ninths, yes? Yeah. Now... So you would have to add three to seven and get ten. Wait, no. No, not three. I have twelve ninths here, right? Yeah. How many make a whole? Right. Um, nine. nine. So if I subtract nine from twelve, how many are left? Three. So you would have zero, nine, and you could simplify. Right. So you would have eight and three ninths, right? Yeah. Okay. So I get eight and three ninths because I took that whole and added it here. 
And then you told me I can still simplify this? Yeah, and one over three. Be beautiful. Eight and one third. Good. Listen, do you see how many steps I just showed on that board? Like, I showed on each of my thought processes. Yes? Mm -hmm. that's yeah. Do that, that on your homework. On, yes, on your homework, your thought process you? needs to be the same. Yes, Brie. Okay? So, look. Do you understand how we get 7 and 12 nights? We added 5 and 2, which is 7. We added 5 and 7, which is 12. Okay? Right. We know that 12 ninths is, lar is larger than a whole. Yes? Because 12 ninths, okay, a whole in this case is 9 ninths. Yes? What's 12 minus 9? Yeah, three ninths. So this is how I get that three ninths part right there. Okay? But what did I do with that other hole? What? You don't have to show it this way if you don't want to. You can. What did I do with this hole that I just subtracted from there? And I put it here. Do you see how this went from seven to eight? Yeah, I added one to that seven because I took a hole out of that fraction. I didn't. I took this fraction of 12 ninths. I took that fraction of 12 ninths. And I subtracted 9 ninths from it because a whole in this case is 9 over 9. So 12. So I have to take that whole out and add it over here to the whole number. Because right now, 7 and 12 ninths is improper. It's not correct. Okay, I can take a hole out of here and add it to there, which is that 8. And when I take 9 ninths out, I'm left with 3 ninths. And then I reduce that 3 ninths down. Yes, Matthew? Can I do B? No. I told you, everybody else gets to participate today. But everybody else has. Stop. Okay. Carter. No, Carter already did it. Uh, Gabby? 10 and 6 thirteenths minus 6 and 8 thirteenths. First of all, can I combine these? Um, yes. Yes. So this is a negative and this is also a <coughs> negative. Negative. So it's very similar to this right here. What did we do here when we had a negative and a negative like that? <coughs> you added them together. Good. So what's negative 10 and negative 6 added together? Negative 16. Negative 16. Good. And what is negative 6 and negative 8 added together? <laughs> um, 14, over, 14 13. over 13. Now, what do you have to do with that 14 over 13? Um, How many holes are here? There's 13 holes. Yeah. So, so this changes from negative 16 to <coughs> what? Um, yeah. Three. Negative mm -hmm. 17. Okay. And if I take 13 out of here, how many is left? One. One over 13. Beautiful. Okay. You got to ask yourself some questions like that and break it down, okay? Okay. Kaden, yeah, you can try B on this one. Kaden, you're on A. 3A over 20 plus 5A over 20. Can you combine? Yeah, 8A. 8A over 20. Now, question. Can you reduce that? Yes. What goes into 8 and into 20? 4. So you get 2A over 5. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Good job, Kaden. Okay, Bree. You have negative 8 over 3b minus negative 2 over 3b. What do you have to do? Negative 8 over 3b. Flip, flip. Beautiful. I love it. So what's negative 8 plus 2? No. Negative 8 plus 2. But not just 6. Negative 6. Good. So you get negative 6 over 3b. Is that reducible? Can something go into 6 and into 3? 3. So if I take 3 into 6, I get negative 2 over just b is left, right? Beautiful. Okay. I have a question. Yes, Matthew. So that would be, that looks like it's an improper fraction. You don't switch it because it's negative? It's not, a, it's not an improper fraction. But it's 6 over 3b. Negative 6 over 3b. It's not improper. I meant whatever. Well, it's not improper. It's, listen, it's not improper. You're thinking 6 over 3 is improper, right? Guys, this is a good question. Stop talking. 
He's thinking that in this fraction right here, six and three are improper. Are they improper? No. No, why? Because oh, because they have like B by B. Because three is being multiplied by B, so it has to stay with it. Uh, so all you can do is reduce, because when I reduce, you see how there's now a one in front of this B? Uh-huh, so okay. Jesus is everywhere. Yeah. So because the B okay. is there, I, it's not improper. Yes, Bree. But if the, if the B wasn't there, it's okay. Then you can't add or subtract them, but in this lesson, they will always be the same. Because today's lesson is adding and subtracting like fractions. Well, I bet you tomorrow we're going to talk about when they're not the same. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, excuse, excuse. I'm sorry, excuse me. There's just the one T. Yeah. Okay, let me.